I'm Craig Hedberg, Interim Division Head for Environmental Health Sciences. Welcome to our division's year in review highlight video for the 2020-21 academic year. As our year of pandemic challenges comes to an end, I want to thank our faculty, staff, and students for your persistence, creativity, and goodwill in meeting the challenges and preparing the division for a brighter future. We want to take a moment to highlight some of the accomplishments of our division, celebrate the work being done, and commemorate a key loss from our community. It has been a great honor to serve as interim division had these past two years. One of the best things that happened this past year was the way the faculty came together to convince the provost to approve a national search for a new division head. That search being led by Professor Emerita, Susan Gerberich, is now underway. And I'm confident we will have new leadership in place for the coming year to continue our mission and lead us into the future. The Midwest Center for Occupational Health and Safety was renewed for another five years. Funding for the center is provided by the National Institute for Occupational Health and Safety. The center is led by Director Professor Marizan Ramirez. Susan Arnold was named Deputy Director this year. In addition to continuing the successful graduate training programs, the center is expanding their reach and vision with a new occupational safety program and new initiatives in outreach, health equity, and diversity. Professor Pete Rayner received a five-year, $10 million grant from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences to lead the Midwest Consortium for Hazardous Waste Worker Training. The consortium consists of 13 training centers in nine states. These centers provide hazardous materials training programs for workers and their communities. We had two faculty promotions this year. Betsy Wattenberg, who also serves as Associate Dean of Education and Student Engagement, was promoted to professor. Susan Arnold was promoted to Associate Professor with tenure. In addition, Professor Marizan Ramirez was appointed as Associate Dean for Research and was named the second Leon S. Robertson Professor in Injury Prevention. Congratulations to you all. Along with the accomplishments of these faculty, the past year saw the retirement of several of our senior faculty members and staff. In particular, we want to recognize the contributions of Professors Susan Gerberich, Pat McGovern, Tim Church, Patrona Lee, and our senior staff members, Diane Campa, Paul Pagel, Kosi Nikosi, and Chris Western. We hope you enjoy your retirements. We miss you all. This spring, our environmental health community suffered a great loss with the passing of Deb Swackhammer, who possessed a truly powerful and beautiful voice for public health and environmental protection. Our colleague, Matt Simsick, has prepared a special tribute for Deb. I want to take a moment to recognize the untimely passing of one of our dear colleagues, Dr. Deborah Swackhammer. Deb joined the faculty here in 1987 and retired in 2015. During that time, she mentored many graduate students and young faculty, but her contributions did not end there. She was a fervent advocate for science and policymaking and fought to make that a reality in her work with the International Joint Commission and the US EPA's Science Advisory Board 
and Board of Scientific Counselors. She was especially impactful in advocating for women in the field of environmental chemistry and is particularly remembered by one of my colleagues who wrote of Deb, she was a sharply intelligent, effective, and forceful scientist and leader who made the world a better place. Deb's passing on April 23rd, 2021 is being mourned by many, but should be a reminder of what one person can accomplish. Thank you for joining this Environmental Health Sciences Year in Review. We will close by highlighting some of the awards our students and faculty received in 2020 and 2021, followed by a special spotlight on our graduating students. I join with the entire faculty and staff of the division in congratulating all award recipients for their well-earned and deserved honors and in saying, well done, class of 2021. I'm Gurumurthy Ramachandran, Professor and Academic and Research Advisor for Jennifer Samuel's doctoral dissertation. Today, I want to congratulate Jennifer on her successful defense of her dissertation. Well done, Dr. Jennifer Samuel. 
Jen is one of those students who juggle many responsibilities and tasks and make it look very easy. She was a doctoral student while managing her consulting company and balancing her family life. She came to her doctoral work in the Division of Environmental Health Sciences at the School of Public Health at the University of Minnesota after several decades of professional experience, working for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency as an industrial hygienist, the National Park Service as a risk manager, and then for Cardinal Chemrisk, a consulting company as principal health scientist. She then started her own consulting company, Insight Exposure and Risk Sciences, where she is principal manager. She is a certified industrial hygienist and a certified safety professional. She has been active professionally for many years in the area of exposure assessment and specifically dermal exposure assessment and leading the Dermal Exposure Assessment Group within the American Industrial Hygiene Association. This keen interest eventually drove her to conduct doctoral research in this area. Dermal exposure assessment has for long been the neglected sibling of inhalation exposure assessment, and Dr. Samuel's research is a big step forward in filling many knowledge gaps in this crucial area. Her work uses a conceptual compartmental model of dermal exposure to, assess, to identify the most important compartments and the transfer efficiencies of material between these compartments. She has also addressed the issues of the effect of repeated contacts on transfer efficiency, as well as the effect of skin hydration. The many publications that are going to result from her doctoral dissertation are going to be influential papers in this field. She has received a number of professional accolades along the way as well. She is an elected fellow of the American Industrial Hygiene Association. She was awarded the Abrams Scholarship for the study of industrial hygiene by the AIHA in 2014. She was awarded the Midwest Center for Occupational Safety and Health, the MCOHS Pilot Projects Research Training Award for a project titled Pilot Study to Assess the Quantitative Dermal Transfer Efficiencies of solids for multiple transport pathways in 2015. I know she has many other contributions to make to this important field, and I wish her all the best in her future career and look forward to meeting her at future industrial hygiene conferences. Congratulations once again, Dr. Jennifer Samuel. Congratulations to Kara Dursky on finishing a PhD, not only during the pandemic, but on a topic that is highly relevant to the pandemic. Kara received her MPH from the University of Minnesota and had worked for the World Health Organization for several years before she started the PhD program in environmental health sciences. At the WHO, she was working on response to infectious disease outbreaks and recognized that most countries and communities have limited tools to evaluate and enhance the response to acute public health emergencies. Kara expanded on these ideas for her dissertation research, which focused on systems thinking methodologies and process mapping approaches that can be used during public health emergencies to improve coordination of response and efficient allocation of resources. Kara continues to apply her public health expertise to the World Health Organization in Geneva, Switzerland, on a collaborative effort to accelerate the development, production, and equitable access to COVID-19 tests, treatments, and vaccines. It makes the division and school proud to have one of our own involved with such important work. Congratulations, Kara, and best of luck to you. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Sue Gerbrick, Mayo Professor of Public Health Emerita in the Division of Environmental Health Sciences and have served as academic and research advisor to our doctoral candidate, DC Tian. Importantly, Dr. Hyun Kim has served as her co-advisor and also provided significant contributions to DC's thesis research. In addition, Dr. Nicole Morris, Director of the Human First Laboratory in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, 
and Dr. Darren Erickson, Associate Professor in the Division of Epidemiology and Community Health, who have served on DC's committee, and Mr. Andrew Ryan, Senior Research Fellow, have been integral to DC's efforts in very substantial ways. Multidisciplinary teams such as this are essential to our research efforts. Prior to DC's arrival in this country, she completed a Bachelor of Science and Master's degrees in Mechanical Engineering at Jilin University in China. Following arrival at the University of Minnesota, she completed a Master of Science degree in Human Factors and Ergonomics. Subsequently, she enrolled in our Occupational Injury Prevention Research Program, an academic program within the Midwest Center for Occupational Health and Safety in Environmental Health Sciences. DC is currently a PhD candidate in Environmental Health with a minor in Epidemiology and is scheduled to defend her thesis on June 21st. Her thesis titled Multidisciplinary Investigation of Rural Intersection Related Crashes and Crash Injuries, Characteristics, Risk Factors and Prevention has resulted in three manuscripts prepared and submitted for publication in peer reviewed journals in the field. In addition, DC has been involved as a primary author on two of three technical reports and has other peer reviewed publications in progress. She has also disseminated her research through several national and international professional conferences. As the recipient of several awards and fellowships, DC's awards include the Mary Lauren Olson Scholarship for Merit awarded by the Minnesota Environmental Health Association, an annual meeting travel award provided by the Transportation Research Board, Center for Transportation Studies, in the Roadway Safety Institute and the President's Road Safety Scholarship Fund awarded by the American Public Health Association Injury Control and Emergency Health Services section. Important fellowships and other funding received have included the Nancy A. Robertson Endowed Graduate Fellowship in Injury Prevention, the Leon S. Robertson Professorship in Injury Prevention Funds, the Susan Goodwin Gerberich Fellowship in Injury Epidemiology and Prevention, and a pilot projects research grant awarded through the Midwest Center for Occupational Health and Safety. DC's continuing career path includes a postdoctoral fellowship or other research position directly relevant to injury and violence prevention. Ultimately, her goal is to be a tenured professor then in concert with her leadership abilities will enable her to continue to make a difference in the injury field. DC, it has truly been a pleasure to have been a part of your education and career development. My sincerest wishes for much success and happiness to you.